And here we are for the opening tip. We are underway as it is batted toward the Hokies bench. Now it's going to be interesting to watch as we give you the Florida Gulf Coast starting lineup. Led by Bell, of course. Spray, one of the great shooters in America. Swished in here by List. Bell will pull up and bounce outside for Spray, who's made 460 three-point shots in a great career. Bell rolling inside. They run the play for her, and she gets the first two-pointer of her day. They can get loose and score at the rim as well. That mid-range, not so much. Shepard with scoop shot. Very tough angle. Couldn't get it to go, but a rebound comes right back to her. She dishes inside for Kitley and two. It's probably the easiest bucket Kitley's going to get all afternoon. Got to break plays to make plays, Warhouse. though. Oh, what a pretty play and flipped it up over her head. Weak side to contest it. And then there's Morehouse getting downhill. She hit the floor going after a loose ball. Her thought was, I have separated my shoulder. My season's over. You wonder if that's going to affect her at all today. And a nice move off the glass here by Amor. Her only game to miss on the collegiate level. Yeah, Kenny Brooks said it was really the first time we ever argued about anything. Baines flips it up and in for two. Zona Baines, a 6'1 junior out of Blackwood, New Jersey, and she has four. Three-pointer, that's going to rattle in. Florida Gulf Coast will make a living on those. This one by C, and a rebound torn down by Greg. Virginia Tech, 23-9. It's going to happen. You've got to get back and not just be back, but be ready to play some defense back there. All the way through and laid in by Trailer, the Purdue transfer of the senior. Kirsten Bell right there. And Trailer, not trailing on that one, got that one go in transition. The trainer's just so tough minded. She's such a staunch competitor when it comes to her defensive abilities, number one, but she is tough offensively. Bell rolling inside. One of the country's best players. Too high, too low. He's always going to bring you his best effort. And it's all about team. And we saw that in their practice yesterday. Inside for Kitley. Of her shooting the ball really well. Said you're going to have slumps, but you got to fight through them. Yeah, got to remember what it was like. And that one's going to rattle in by Phils. And they're going to have a nice crowd as well. They always do. Kitley to the paint. Draws two, three most of the time. Got the shot up and it went anyway. Minute 40 here in the first. Outside it's Spray who will kick it. See less fly and knocks down a three-pointer. That's what they want to do to create space to let those three balls fly. Kitley the All-America looking like it. Legit. That's why she's the ACC Player of the Year. And Kenny Brooks said, hey, she had this drill that she was supposed to make 60 shots. She made 59 of them and was distraught when she missed that last one like she had missed them all. Back off for C. Shot clock down to five. She dribbles out beyond the three-point line. Shot clock down to one and hits it. You knock it in that mid-range, but Florida Gulf Coast, a deep water triple for C, her third. We listened to the players at the press conference yesterday and they were saying, we are bought in. We are locked into the game plan and what we need to do. It's so much fun to watch her get to her spots and let that three fly. 1,800 points for her in her career. Is he grabbing the miss? Still draws so much attention every time she touches it. Virginia Tech, the five seed, Florida Gulf Coast, the number 12 seed, and with three pointers like that. Just an amazing run there. And just back to back to back titles in the CAA. Morehouse, yes, will knock that one down. And they will set it up here with 10 to shoot. Florida Gulf Coast up by four. Amor will lift. Yes, knocking down a three. So the Eagles on the attack, of course, out of Fort Myers, Florida. There is the quick guard, Morehouse, again, kind of taken over here the last several possessions. So she can take it over. Break handing off for Shepard. It's been a little quiet here so far. That's a good way to get noisy, drilling a three. Taylor outside the three-point line. She'll drive it now down the lane. That's a nice move with that left hand. Make her face turn red. Tell her she's really good at something. <laughs> That's right. Because That's right. she's a very, very humble athlete. Way downtown. Fills. And right out of the timeout. 
just listening to the way she was talking about approaching this game and the opportunity to compete, she's ready. Kitley with a nice soft touch from mid-range. Morehouse, the senior, thought better of it as well. Shot clock down to six and up and in for two. So they stayed with it. And again, to your point earlier in the game, watching and enjoying, you're being coached at a very high level. You've become a great player, a lot of fun to watch. Speaking of which, Asia Shepard right on target. To be that scorer that she was. There are three points better with her on the court as a team. Amor with a scoop, no. Kitley corrals it and two. In terms of crowding her space, but somehow finding a way. Great hands, great half, 16 points. It's a way downtown and another triple for the Eagles. Looking up the record, by the way, for attempts in an NCAA tournament, which is 57. They could easily get that at this pace. Kristen Bell had a couple of quick fouls, but she has recovered. Well, Charlie has him as an eight. They're ranked number 23 in America. Right. Quick strike underneath, they get it down low for Bills and two. And with Charlie Green having them at an eight, that has a lot of weight to it as well. Considerably higher. Baines turns the fire and knocks it down. Well, four ties, 14 lead changes in this one, and that continues. And the Hokies to check it in. Italy will turn and knocks it down. Amor with the shot clock winding down. Kind of forced that one, though. Still had about five seconds. On the cut and up and in for spray. Especially for my right knee. Isn't that a good thing? Kitley with a miss. You're lucky it's just a knee, Christy. <laughs> Bell, nice move. Went to that right hand and banked it in. Bell upset the screen. Morehouse right by everybody for two. As you said, switching things up. Absolutely. In the first half, Virginia Tech had a 20 to 12 advantage in paint points. In the second half, it's a 10 to 2 advantage for Florida Gulf Coast there. And that time was it for that block. Amore her first. Bell tiptoe on the line, got it three. Houston Bell, she's starting to heat up. Yes, indeed, she is. That's a three. And the Eagles to maintain possession. In for spray, she'll cut that one loose and banked it in. Set that he wants here at this juncture. Morehouse on the drive and a whistle as well, and she'll be at the line. She knows how invaluable her presence is on the court. Kitley working on a 24 point game, swinging inside and adds to that. Kidley, by the way, 9 of 17, another touch. She may get it every time down, and two more for her. Now that's all day long. Give it to her again. That's right. Looking to tie it up. Left it short. Gathers and hits another one. Seven offensive rebounds now for Virginia Tech. 10 to 0 in second chance points. Morales quickly. 64-62. Bell coming back on here in a moment. Kitley down low. Yes, and she'll be at the line. Elizabeth Kitley. Shepard. Shot clock at nine. Kitley with a look. Two more for her. 32 points. Under seven minutes to go. 34 points for Kitley. Shepard. Kitley again on the spin and a foul too. She goes to the line. Kitley not this time. 68 66. Bell, yes! Kirsten Bell. 71 68. The Eagles with the lead. Kitley fires. She drops in two more. She has just been. Spectacular this afternoon. A three on the way and drilled home by Emma List. Amor to the baseline. Shot clock at six. Here's Greg to fire. Hits it. Trying to drive it and lost her foot and got up and somehow kept the basketball. 
Greg leaning in. Yes, she's hit a couple of big shots here. Here's Shepard. Shot clock at 10. Too strong. Rebounded away by Florida Gulf Coast and Kendall Spray. Carlos Mesco calling out in action. See if they execute it. Bell to the lane again. Yes! At a critical time. Under a minute. Over the top, Kitley. Kitley, no this time. Morehouse. They want Bell to touch it again. She swings it. Here comes C shot. Got it! A giant three pointer. Well, the Eagles with the haymaker on top 79 74. Over the top, it's Kitley. Trying to answer on the back down. Got it to go with 22 seconds left. UT Martin. And really cool at that line. Her wrist is so quick. Florida Gulf Coast, their last win in the tournament was 2018. Down by five. Quickly, Shepard launches up there. That didn't touch anything. Caught by Bell. She's fouled with 5.6 seconds. They surpassed 600 earlier this season. And number two makes that. 22 points for Kirsten Bell. Had foul trouble early. Amor launching that one and drops in a three. And that is going to do it. 84-81, the final.